Hey y'all, Stevens Rita here. You might remember that I had a morphing booth at Power Morphicon last year. Well, it was a rousing success. I actually had a, a great time meeting all of you guys, talking to all of you Power Ranger fans, geeking out. Beyond just the convention, I've been getting consistent emails asking me when I'm going to do that again. Well, I can't be everywhere, so I've decided to do something a little bit different and make this Fiverr. With this Fiverr, think of it kind of like a digital morphing booth where you send me footage of you morphing and I use my VFX skills to send you back a video that looks a little something like this. Dressaurus. Or maybe you'd rather teleport around Angel Grove like this. You can find details and pricing for all the options on my Fiverr page linked in the description below. So how does this Fiverr work? Simple, you send me footage of you morphing and I do the rest but we want the video I send back to you to look as good as possible. So here's a couple tips you can follow while filming that video to make that happen. Start off by putting your camera on a tripod in a bright, well-lit area. Lock in your frame and don't move the camera while you film the morph. As for your subject, film them against a blue or green screen that's evenly lit. Don't know which color to pick? Just pick a color that your actor isn't wearing, but green tends to work best. As for audio, make it as clear as possible. The easiest way to do this is to get a microphone as close as possible to your actor without getting it in the frame. Now I realize that sounds like it requires a lot of equipment, but don't worry, if you don't have that specialized gear, you can still film a great morph. Even if you have something as simple as a cell phone, you can get some great looking video by following these tips. A great trick if you don't have any lighting equipment is to film by a window. The natural sunlight is a lot brighter than you'd think and should fill your actor with a good even lighting. Or you could film outside. If possible, film on a cloudy day since the clouds will diffuse the sunlight and give your actors a softer look to them. Sometimes direct sunlight can be very harsh and give you really dark, contrasty shadows, which might not look great. Don't have a tripod? Set your camera up on a flat surface like a table or stool. Prop up your phone if that's what you're using to film. You don't have as much control with your camera using this method, so if your actor's out of frame, you may have to move the actor instead of the camera. Have him crouch or kneel to get framed up properly with his head in the top third of the frame or stand them up on a stool if they're too short. If you absolutely can't prop your camera on something stable, take some blue or green painter's tape and make a couple small X's on your backdrop where your actor won't cross in front of them. Hold your camera as still as possible while recording, and I can use the tape to stabilize the footage when you send it to me. Dragon Sword! Now I can already predict your next question. Steven, what if I don't have a blue or green screen? Easy, just get a blue or green blanket, bed sheet, cloth, in this case, shower curtain, a uh, shower curtain that I've never actually used as a shower curtain. This is something I've just kept aside for when I need large green screens. But if you can't get a cloth type material like this, you can also just go to your local craft store, get a bunch of those blue or green poster boards and tape them together. And that's the same thing. In worst case scenario, film your actor against a solid colored wall that is a completely different color from their clothes and skin tone. It'll take me a little longer, but I can still make the effect work this way. Dragon Sword! Good news if you're buying the teleporting package though. You can film that on a green screen or any real life background you like. Just make sure you film on a tripod using one of the other stabilizing options I've mentioned and I can teleport you out of or into the setting of your choice. If you do film at a real location, be sure to have your actor step out of frame after completing their take. But continue filming for 10 seconds without touching or moving the camera. Getting this background plate is absolutely crucial for me to animate your teleporting effect. I know this seems like a lot of information, but remember, the more of these tips you're able to follow, the easier it'll be to animate your morph and thus the cheaper it will be for you. You can see the different pricing tiers based on various filming conditions on my Fiverr page for more information. Now most people are probably going to use the Legacy Morpher that they released a couple years ago, or if you're old school like me, you might use the original one from 1993. But if you can't get your hands on either of these, don't worry. I put an Amazon link to the Legacy Morpher so you can order one. But if you can't get your hands on one or the price is just too much, just don't worry. You just have to get crafty. I put a link to a paper morpher you can print, glue to some cardboard, cut out, and tape a handle to the back of to get a fairly accurate looking version to use in your video. Now that covers all the best tips and workarounds. Here's a couple things to avoid to make sure you get the best morphing video possible. Don't film close to any loud noises. Those will make your video sound distracting and ruin the atmosphere. Try and record where you'll only hear your actor. Oh, is it the one year? Dragon Sword! Yeah, yeah. Guys, shh. I'm sorry. Dragon Sword! Perfect. Also, don't record with a harsh shadow on the background. This can mess up your key and make the effect fall apart. Is that supposed to be there? And last but not least, 
don't wear the same colored shirt as your background. I know in the original morph they did this to remove their torsos, but with all the wrinkles it'll cause, I can't afford to roto and clean up everyone's morphs at this price point. So you'll just get a video back that has a bunch of floating shadows on top of lightning. Alright, now that you've finished filming your video, here's how to send it to me using Fiverr.com. Create your Fiverr account or log into one if you already have it, and search for me using the URL Fiverr.com slash HyperDrivePix, or type HyperDrivePix in the search bar. Once you're here, you're going to see all the gigs I have available right here. Right now, this is the only one, but I'm going to be adding more for teleporting and other effects from the show. Now you can browse through the different pricing tiers I have, and these are based on how much work or extra work I have to do to isolate you from your background. So if you're able to film with a green screen, I can just do the basic chroma key morph, and if you have a tripod, that's just the basic package. If you don't have a tripod, that costs a little more because I have to do what's called stabilization. So I stabilize that footage so I can get you in the morphing effect. If you don't have a green screen at all, I do the rotoscope morph, which is the most advanced version available to get you out of your background and into the morphing effect. And if you're gonna be using the rotoscope morph package, don't worry if you have a tripod or not, it costs the same either way. So once you have your package selected, click there. Fiverr is gonna take you to a customization page. And basically the only thing that's available if you wanna customize it is the helmet animation. So if you want that effect added to your package, just check that here. Currently I only have it for the Red Ranger, but I am expanding it to all of the other Rangers as I get the template animated for all of them. So you'll be able eventually to morph with that animation into any of the Rangers. So once everything's selected and your quantity, which is probably gonna be one, but if you have multiple videos you'd like to do, you can select that here. Uh, once all that's selected, you're going to click order now. Once you've selected and filled out your payment method of choice, click on continue. If you're using PayPal, you'll be directed briefly to the PayPal site where you log in. All right, with that filled out, Fiverr's gonna take you to the submit requirements stage. Here you're going to select exactly which Power Ranger you'd like to morph into. And you'll even see that I have options for Lord Draken and Ryu Ranger as well. So I'm going to select the Red Tyrannosaurus Power Ranger option, which is currently the only one eligible for the helmet animation as I mentioned before, but that will be updated to other Rangers as I expand the template. All right, now click on Attach Files. And for the sake of easiness, I've made my file morphing video raw. This is the video I showed you earlier on in the video with Andrew and he has select choose. Notice it's a short video. It's only a couple seconds long and that's the best way to do this. I changed this video's name so it'd be easier to find in this tutorial, but it's the raw file from the cell phone that recorded it. Use the raw file from your recording device if you can. That way there's no extra layers of compression in your morph. Be sure to check this box here and select start order. Once that's all done, I get the order on my end of things. And if you'd like to message me, you can do that right here. I'll get the message and I can respond to you. And if there's anything I need from you or vice versa, this is where we'll have that conversation. And this is also on Fiverr where I will complete the order and send it to you. So if you select orders up here, you'll see where your order from me is and whether it's in progress or completed. So that's it, thanks for watching. I can't wait to start sending you guys your own morphs. Feel free to ask me any questions in the comments below or in the Fiverr page where you can contact me as well and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Who knows, if this Fiverr thing works pretty well, I might expand it to morphs from other seasons of Power Rangers. Or maybe I'll do effects from other TV shows as well. We'll see. If I do do any of those things, be sure to stay tuned to this channel because that's where I'll announce them. With all that out of the way, it's finally morphin' time.